Alrighty, it's Tuesday, March 20th, and it's 2012, and it's time for Comments X. Um, last night, I did the new, another successful news broadcast. I tried out a new format. It didn't work though too well. Uh, YouTube didn't specify how long I actually had, so I tried to do a, uh, you know, basically a, a 50 minute long uh, news broadcast and they cut it off uh, 30 minutes th uh, off at 30 minutes so that's what I'll do tonight is I'll be uh, um, doing two uh, doing it in two segments it will be one will be the first uh, 30 minutes uh, just about 30 minutes and the rest and then the next part will be about 20 minutes uh, the other issue that's uh, having is that if you're watching uh, the news channel, uh, I'm putting up the reference videos. Uh, although I don't know how long the reference videos will actually end up staying up there, uh, due to uh, uh, the DCA, um, YouTube seems that it. it I, I really don't know what they're going to do. I've gotten notices. I don't know if these are automatic flags or somebody's looking, taking a look at it or anything like that. Um, but I am taking a risk to bring as much of the news as possible that you can get understand what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, and this means that some of the reference videos I have will violate some of the terms of service that YouTube has because they have, uh, they're wanting to be in compliance with, with the DCA, which means that they're uh, basically violating the First, Amendment, the First Amendment of the United States, which is free speech, in order to do that. So... I don't know how Orwellian they are over there at YouTube. Uh, some of their letters seem in that direction. So I will see whether or not uh, what the outcome is. I, I have said to them uh, that uh, every time I get a copyright that uh, a, a copyright flag that uh, this is free speech and this is about free speech. Uh, but uh, so far, you know, I, I, I keep getting the notices, but I don't really notice that if anything happens to the videos or not. Uh, so, uh, now I said the, the second the video that that's being flagged now is the uh, reference uh, documentary uh, Daniel Jurgens' uh, 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 the prize the, se the second the second the ver second episode of that. Uh, at the end of the week, I'll be adding my own documentary to that, to that series. There, we'll be doing one reference documentary a week and one original documentary a week and the original doctor documentaries may have the same problem that uh, you know if I put up reference videos inside there then some of these someone objects to the reference video and flags them they can be removed and what I was saying is that uh, uh, the DCA is not and as I said this in, in my news video the DCA has nothing to do with protecting the rights of the musicians in terms of their uh, collecting money off of the stuff here. This has nothing to do with the, uh, the livelihood of music. This has to do with censorship. DCA is censorship and these same people who are behind the DCA were behind SOPA, they were behind Protect IP and I've recently got an email uh, from the groups who have been fighting D D uh, who have been fighting SOPA, Protect IP that uh, the same groups, uh, the record association in the, in the uh, entertainment industry are at it again. Uh, they're drafting a new law. Uh, I'll keep you posted on this, and um, you can sort of see, see for yourself that time and time again, they're just simply trying to, uh, uh, this is about censorship that has nothing to do with anything else. And for all you artists out there who call yourself artists who are part of this whole DCA thing, is the Digital Copyright Act, um, you're now all PR. You're nothing more than PR uh, for these political hacks. Uh, because uh, with the DCA, you can talk all you want about freedom because it can't be used for freedom and for human rights because... Uh, because uh, is now a restricted product. I can't use it. If your song says something, I can't be. It can't be used. No one's going to be able to use it. For, you know, with, with free speech, no, no, they're not going to give you that permission to do that. And they never have. They, this is the whole issue here. So you're you're just wasting your breath. You know, and to the kids out there, to the younger people on YouTube, they don't care whether you. It, it has nothing to do with 
um, uh, they don't respect that you love this person, that, that, that they are like Selena Gomez. It's about money. It's about making tons and tons of money. That's all it's about. And so what you're listening to isn't yours. That summer music that you thought oh, was so great and, and defined your summer. It doesn't. But it's not yours. They're going to take it away from you. I mean, this is, this is a sad state of affairs where uh, nothing has any value beyond beyond this materialistic, you know, corporate value. You know, you know, everything is bought and paid for. I mean, what a sad childhood to have no memories that are your own, or that you can say are your own. But apparently, uh, so far, a few people are starting to pick up and say, "Okay, yeah, this is an issue." But uh, it really does need to be made an issue. It needs to be this whole thing about free speech and DCA. This needs to be made an issue. If we can do Coin Twenty Twelve the way we did, and we can we can do free speech, we can do free speech the exact same way. You don't have to put any money into this. I'm not asking for any money. What I'm asking for is that uh, uh, that you simply you stand up for free speech. And if you're willing to stand up for free speech, say yes, and you can look at my down below bar. I got a whole little spill at the bottom about free speech. That's anti-DCA, it's anti-SOPA, it's anti-Protect IP, it's anti all of the stuff that's coming down the line. And there is stuff coming. If you want to find out more about it and get more into depth on what's actually going on in the geopolitics, you go to my news channel, INN, and you'll find out there in, in great depth what's going on, but you do have to uh, do some reading. It is a significantly more serious channel than, than what's here. Uh, it, Big Bang Theory is kind of behind the scenes, and there's more more relaxed, and you have some fun, and hang out with a bunch of the my, you know the YouTuber group and uh, uh, the new group I'm getting into now, the, the BookTube and Big Bang Theory, RL, Nerds RL, and your friend Angela, and this you know there's a lot of fun behind this, in, in, in addition to the serious research work. Uh, that being said. Uh, it's time to move on to another another day uh, of research, another day of studying, and uh, prepping for the news. News will be a little different tonight, uh, because I've got some really, really good sources. Um, for those of you who are looking for um, information on the university, it will be coming here. Basically, uh, the university, all university good academic programs, uh, are based within the library, and once you've built a good library, uh, then you can build your, you take your, your courses that you study come out of the library. So basically, build your library, right, that's, that's part of your undergraduate thing. As you start, as you build your library, pull your courses from there. I will be demonstrating this more in depth on the YouTube channel. There's a lot more videos coming to the YouTube channel. Uh, for for the university, the uh, the academia university YouTube channel. Uh, that's the one with the the old picture on it of Socrates, uh, of the uh, called the symposium. Anyways, uh, I'll leave this for now, and I will see you tonight.